Hello dear students, welcome to our class. Today we are studying the important points from the chapter Why do we fall ill? What is health? Health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease defined by World Health Organization. Personal health refers to the overall well-being of an individual but human beings live in communities therefore the health of the community is an important factor for individual health community health refers to the maintenance protection and improvement of the whole community in which an individual lives factors that affect our health are social environment public cleanliness personal hygiene, social equality and harmony, good economic conditions, nutrition, that means balanced diet, etc. The word disease that is disturbed ease means being uncomfortable and not at ease. Disease has a specific and a particular cause for discomfort. Being disease free does not necessarily mean being healthy. Main differences between healthy and disease free are healthy it is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. Disease free means it is a state of absence of discomfort or dearrangement of body parts and their function. Healthy depends upon the individual as well as on the physical and social environmental factors. Whereas disease free is related to the individual only. A healthy person will be disease free. Whereas a disease free person can be healthy or unhealthy. Based on duration, diseases are classified as acute disease and chronic disease. Acute diseases that last for short period only. Example, common cold. It does not cause major effects on general health. Chronic diseases that last for very long period, sometimes even for lifetime. Example, elephantiasis. They have drastic long-term effects on health. Based on causes, diseases are classified as infectious or communicable diseases and non-infectious or non-communicable diseases. Infectious diseases. These diseases spread from an infected person to a healthy person. It is caused by external factors, for example, common cold, tuberculosis, etc. Non-infectious or non-communicable diseases. They cannot spread from an infected person to a healthy person. It is caused by internal factors. For example, cancer is due to genetic abnormalities. High blood pressure is due to excessive weight. The unicellular or multicellular organisms that cause infection are called infectious agents. These disease causing microorganisms are called pathogens and they are classified into viruses, bacteria, fungi, protozoans, etc. Some infectious diseases and their causative organisms. SARS Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome caused by SARS virus. Kala Asar which is caused by the protozoan Leishmania parasite. Acne is caused by Staphylococci bacteria. Sleeping sickness is caused by the protozoan Trypanosoma. And it is transmitted by Setse fly. Ascariasis is a disease caused by the parasitic roundworm Ascaris lumbricoides. Peptic ulcers is caused by a bacterium, Helicobacter pylori. It was invented by Robin Warren and Barry Marshall. For this achievement, Marshall and Warren received the Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine in 2005. Some other infectious agents and infectious diseases are Bacteria causing diseases are typhoid, pneumonia, fever, cholera, tuberculosis, anthrax, tetanus, syphilis, etc. 
virus causing diseases are common cold influenza dengue fever aids measles chickenpox smallpox covid-19 etc ringworm and skin infections are caused by fungus malaria kala azar amebiasis sleeping sickness all these diseases are caused by protozoan ascariasis filariasis elephantiasis all these diseases are caused by worms virus utilizes the metabolic system of the host cell and multiply diseases caused by virus are mumps polio aids influenza dengue fever etc viruses bacteria and fungi multiply very quickly while worms multiply very slowly the purpose of dividing infectious agents into different categories is to decide the kind of treatment to use because the same drug will not work against a microbe belonging to a different group antibiotics are the chemical substances produced mainly by microorganisms the antibiotic penicillin blocks the bacterial process of building cell wall antibiotics do not work against viral infections viral infections can be overpowered only by the development of immunity against them by the body means of spread diseases spread through various modes like air water sexual contact vectors etc first of all about airborne diseases diseases that spread through air that is airborne diseases spread through little droplets thrown out by infected person during sneezing and coughing example pneumonia common cold etc waterborne diseases spreads when stool from an infected person gets mixed with the drinking water example cholera sexually transmitted diseases gets transmitted by sexual contact from one partner to another examples are aids syphilis etc spread of diseases through vectors animals that carry infecting agents from a sick person to a healthy person are called vectors for example female anopheles mosquito is a vector for malaria organ specific and tissue specific manifestation of diseases manifestation means a symptom of an illness some microbes show their effect on the same organ in which they enter for example microbes like bacteria enter through nose along with air pass to lungs and cause tuberculosis infection of lungs another example is some microbes enter through different routes into the body and show their effect in other organs and may affect the whole body for example malarial parasite enters the body by mosquito bite and through the blood enters liver cells and rbcs general effects of infectious diseases an active immune system recruits many cells to the affected tissue to kill off the disease causing microbes this recruitment process is called inflammation next topic is about principles of treatment the two ways to treat infectious diseases are to reduce the effect of disease and to kill the cause of diseases to reduce the effect of the disease by providing a particular treatment so that symptoms can be reduced but the treatment cannot kill the microbes for example depending on the symptoms we can take medicines that bring down fever reduce pain or loose motions or take complete rest to conserve energy but it will not kill the disease causing microorganisms therefore disease would not be cured completely to kill the cause of the disease taking medicines that kill microbes is the best way for complete recovery from the particular disease it is essential that medicine specific to disease causing microbe is taken for example for the treatment of bacterial disease antibiotics can be taken by the patient that blocks essential biochemical pathway of bacteria without affecting our own similarly there are drugs that can kill protozoan such as malarial parasite 
it is harder to make antiviral medicines because viruses have very few biochemical mechanism of their own they enter our cells and use our machinery for completing their life processes principles of prevention by generic ways of prevention and specific ways of prevention first of all about general ways of prevention prevention is better than cure when someone gets a disease his body function gets damaged and may never recover completely he may become bedridden for some time he can serve as a medium for further spread of disease therefore prevention is better than cure for prevention of diseases following general practices are adopted avoid exposure to airborne microbes adopt living conditions that are not overcrowded prevent exposure to waterborne microbes safe drinking water should be provided avoid vector borne infection and establish clean environment specific ways of prevention the immune system of our body reacts against specific microbes recognize them and kill them immunity is the ability of our body to resist the disease it can be inborn or acquired after birth what is immunization when the immune system first sees an infectious microbe it responds against it and then remembers it specifically so the next time when the particular microbe or its close relatives enter the body the immune system responds with greater vigor and eliminates the infection more quickly this immune response occurs with the help of antibodies immunization is stimulating the body to produce antibodies by artificial means this is done by taking vaccines against certain diseases vaccination is a way of providing immunity to a healthy person by giving vaccines chronic diseases like smallpox polio etc have been eradicated by vaccination vaccine is any germ or germ substances introduced into the body for developing resistance to the particular disease the first vaccine was discovered by edward jenner against smallpox disease Many vaccines are available for preventing infectious diseases and provide disease specific means of prevention. Some examples for vaccines are BCG bacillus calmicurin for tuberculosis, hepatitis vaccine for hepatitis B, OPV oral polio vaccine for polio, DPT for diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus. These vaccines are available under child immunization program for preventing infectious diseases. Students, some assertion reason questions. The following questions consist of two statements: assertion and reason. Answer these questions selecting the appropriate option given below. Option A, both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion option b both assertion and reason are true but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion option c assertion is true but reason is false option d assertion is false but reason is true first question assertion tuberculosis is a bacterial disease reason tuberculosis is not transmitted by droplet infection its answer is option c assertion is true but reason is false because tuberculosis is mainly transmitted by droplet infection next question assertion always wash your hands before and after a meal reason it is better to prevent a disease than to find a cure for it its answer is option a both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion next question assertion chloroquine 
kills the malarial parasite in human body. Reason, quinine is extracted from the bark of Sinjona tree. Its answer is option B. Both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. Next question. Assertion. Malaria is a chronic disease. Reason. Chronic disease cannot be controlled by medicines. Its answer is option C. Assertion is true, but reason is false. Because chronic disease can be controlled by medicines. Next question. Assertion. Good health is only freedom from disease. Reason. Good health is essential for proper living. Its answer is option D. Assertion is false, but reason is true. Students, here is the end of the chapter. Please subscribe and share this video. Thank you and have a nice day.